Hi, I'm John Krauskopf, the Director of Technology and Innovation with the District, and today we have an interesting conversation. Uh, Peter Lamoureau, our District's Learning Technology Specialist. Uh, Peter and I are speaking with Juliana Tangretti and Stephanie Gilmartin, who've done some rather exciting work with their students. So, Juliana, you and Stephanie have created an invigorating classroom experience uh, of project-based activities uh, based on the work you were doing with students in the Teachers College Reading Writing Program. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit about what this project consisted of? And I know you worked on it as, as a team. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, please, if you could share so, that with us. So um, our student, we asked our students to develop a website based on a topic that they were knowledgeable and passionate about. The TC program had them doing research and finding out all this information on this certain topic, and then it was going to be developed into some kind of book. So we thought it would be something different and decided to have them create a website. So what did that process look like uh, moving from a book to a website? So we, so we connected the reading and the writing together and we were looking in our nonfiction texts about the different types of text features that we see in nonfiction books and see the different text structures like cause and effect, compare and contrast, sequential, problem and solution, and all of the different text features such as um, captions and subheadings and headings in those texts and then we encourage them to now transfer their knowledge of what they find in books to their own writing and using those text structures to explain their topic in a more creative, sophisticated way. So this text-to-self relationship you're describing sounds rather complex. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it, I, I guess it led to a lot of fun based on the work that you've shared with, with, with the two of us. Yeah. We, we, we know that the students were very engaged with this and very excited about you know, working in this medium. Um, yeah. Would you care to you walk through a couple of the projects with us? Sure. Yeah. All right. So we have one here. Um, so it was a topic they were passionate about. So this student chose taking care of dogs and things to know about dogs. So they first just created their homepage. And then they have um, subheadings, which we gave them. Yeah, they have subtopics that they divided up their topic into. And then in each one, they did a page for each. So here she has compare and contrast, dry food versus wet food. So she's pulling in one of those um, text structures that we were looking for. And then they went through, oh, let's scroll. Yeah. Okay. Would you like me to do that? Oh, I got it. Okay. okay. So, and then so they added different things like pe pictures and videos to help show what they were working on and things like that. And she included problem and solution text structure within her house breaking subheading. And then one of the big things we were looking for for them to include was a glossary. So they had to show, because that was one of the big text features that we were working with. So they show that they have the bolded words throughout the text and that leads them to a glossary later on. So we can pull up another one. Um, we also ask them to make sure they elaborate very well on different on their different topics. That's one of the big things we're looking for in fifth grade in their writing is their elaboration. So and, and we kept telling the children to to explain their topic in a way that someone who doesn't know anything about the topic would be able to learn from the topic. So in this person in this student's website, he focused on football. So I don't know much about football. So I kept encouraging him to elaborate in a way that. I don't know much about football. How would I be able to understand about football after reading? And then your Peter website? showed them how to do the animated videos or the animated pictures on theirs, and a lot of the kids took that and put it in, like all the time, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and including the yeah, the little the captions, captions to go with the pictures and different things like that. So his positions, I think, was he has all the different positions. So he likes to he liked to elaborate for us. So that's actually a fairly comprehensive listing of the rules for football. Mm -hmm. Then you have the illustrations of, of the field goal and the yeah. different pieces. And all this, how does that, I, I'm engaged by it, just, just watching it. And, uh, but, but again, how does that tie back to the work they were doing? You, you started mentioning that they were doing the research and you're giving problem solution mm -hmm. and these different pieces. How does that tie back specifically to Teachers College, to, to the work that you're doing with them? So the work that we were doing in reading in Teachers College was, was digging really deep into nonfiction texts and looking and finding those text features. And since nonfiction texts are pretty complex to read, we were encouraging them to use those text features to help them understand the text and looking to see how they can help them. So they were then using those text features to help the reader of their website understand their topic. Their writing unit was about 
informational writing. So it was taking a nonfiction topic and writing as much as you know about that topic, doing the research to help you get more information about that topic. So we t had them choose a topic they were passionate and knowledgeable about. So they already knew a lot of this information. But then doing the research, they gathered more information and were able to elaborate really on that information they already knew. That's great. So Why don't we have him sit, sit back down? Sure. Sit, uh, sure. There we go. <laughs> Thank you for sharing those, those no two problem. examples. So um, can you speak to how well the students adjusted to working in this medium as, a, as opposed to a traditional, you know, writing in a book or a paper? I've seen in the past that sometimes writing is, ver is ver a very difficult task for students and they do find it very daunting to have a notebook in front of them and have to include all of this information and really teach a reader about a topic. So I really saw the difference in having a computer in front of them. The motivation and the engagement was so much deeper and so much higher than a traditional method. They liked being able to divide it up into the subtopics and that way they were able to really like focus on one thing at a time and it made it a little easier for them to be able to elaborate on all these different things that way. And the subheadings also help them organize yes. the information in a very concrete way. So I, I imagine that um, although they're fifth graders and I'm sure they've been using technology for a while, uh, I'm sure that there was a learning curve because what I'm looking at is is fairly advanced. Um, how did you go about teaching them how to make these websites? All right, so um, I had literally <laughs> asked you guys for help because I was going to use a different site, and then I made a little example, and the example I made was about one page with three pictures and three paragraphs of information, and I showed them how to insert the different things, and then I got them on computers and got them started, and they just took over. So they knew what they had to do from the uh, research part, they've yes. done that already. Mm -hmm. How long did it take them to create this? Um, about a week or so. About, yeah, about, about a, a week. Because they had a lot of the informational, they had most of the information already in their notebooks written down and divided up into their subtopics. So all they really had to do was fill it in and find the pictures and they were really yeah. eager to add those pictures <laughs> and the videos and the different mm -hmm. graphics to it, enhance their topics. As, as you discussed, the, the new Google site format really makes it you know, yeah. user friendly yes. so you know, fifth Definitely. graders can just very you know, user friendly. Yeah, pick up, <laughs> pick up and go with it. And, you know, and, and we, we, we often you know, don't, don't utilize that full potential of our students, but you know, we let them go and they, they really you know, take off with it. And, and as yeah. you said, are very engaged with it. And mm -hmm, you know, we, we spoke about you know, adding the pictures and the videos and mm -hmm. the animations. And mm -hmm. um, you know, that, that really, you know, as we discussed, isn't the focus of the work. You know, right. Really, we want to, you know, that brings them in and hooks them. But you know, <laughs> the, the writing is really the, the, yeah, the, the right. key piece mm -hmm. of this and the development is, is and their we, development in that area is important. We found it nice that even if like those kids who were struggling in their writing and trying to elaborate, if they did add that picture, they were then able to describe that picture. Yep. So it helped them to elaborate a little more than without them even realizing it. So it was definitely beneficial for us to see those <coughs> kids who were struggling by just adding a picture could add more writing. That's great. Well, I've got to tell you, it's invigorating to see this. I, uh, Peter and I have been uh, very fortunate in, in being able to look through a number of these uh, um, these different student projects. I see that it says publish at the top, which means I guess it's not really live on the web. When will our, uh, our audience be able to see some of the work that you've, uh, your students have um, really mastered? So first we need to um, it change the names that are on the, the websites and, and take the last names off the websites before we can make them publish. But we look forward to doing that within the next few weeks. So you'll take the last names off yes. to remove any personal yeah. identifiable right. we don't want to yeah. that information. Mm -hmm. Sure, fifth grade. Well, it's published. Yes. It's yeah, only in fifth grade. Yeah. You know, and I think it's really important when, when the students are you know publishing to an authentic audience and mm -hmm. making them expecting that they're going to be live web pages. I think that really you know also increases their level of investment in the project. It's not just you that's going to see it. It's that. No, yeah. anybody could see it. They were excited they, about that. They kept asking us, can I hit the publish button? I was like, no, not yet. We need to make sure <laughs> we take care of all of this stuff behind the scenes work first. <laughs> That's great. Well, yeah. it's great because that, that, that is an important part. Yeah. I mean, they are fifth grade students. The work they're doing, the research, um, and really the detailed level of the writing uh, is impressive, but we want to make sure that it's, it doesn't have the personally identifiable information, uh, right. particularly yes. at that age. So uh, I'd like to make a commitment to you. Uh, Peter and I will 
when you're, you have this finished and the students have made their final revisions, even if that's removing their last name, <laughs> uh, we'd like to feature this on our district's website, www.brewsterschools.org, uh, which I'm sure you know. <laughs> I would love that. Yes. And, uh, and really, um, we could talk about um, sharing that out and, and how the students uh, might benefit even from some authentic feedback, if that's, if that's a path I'm you want sure to take. I'm sure they would love I'm that. Sure they would too, yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Well, Peter, do you have any other last uh, question or comment? I, I just, am, you know, thank you both for <laughs> championing this effort. You know, I really think this is a great service to our students to bring them into this environment and to engage them in the process of writing more so than they would have been otherwise. And okay. I don't know if either of you know it, but I was a high school English teacher for 10 years. So when I well. see the focus on writing, the writing process, mm -hmm. the research, teachers' college, and the fact that you put that front and center and yet use the, uh, these technologies to, uh, to engage the students in uh, having something that goes beyond your classroom. I'm, I'm really impressed, so I, I need to let you know that. <laughs> thank, it, thank it's you. good work. And, and thank you for taking the time to share this project with us. Thank, thank you, you for coming Thank in. you for coming in. Yeah. This is wonderful. All right. Yeah. Juliana Tangretti and Stephanie Gilmartin, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.